la russa presidente del grazie, senato grazie. attraverso le spero mani spero di fare tutti veloci come me così siamo più contenti okay. there is an african proverb that says until the, until the lion learned to write a story all stories glorified the hunter yes. there was a time africa was profiled as the continent of conflict, disease, poverty, and war. I want to tell you that we have a new definition of Africa. It is the continent of opportunity, great potential, and a great future. Yes. Yes. It is for this reason that today we have the first ever Italy-Africa summit, because it is now clear to all that Africa is not what it has always been profiled to be. By the year 2050, a quarter of the world's population will be living in the African continent by the year 2050. And therefore, any business person, including Kemal, <laughs> if you're looking as a business person, you must think about the market. Yes. The market will be in Africa shortly. We are having a new conversation about our continent. Yes. We are very proud of what the continent can achieve and what the continent has to share with the rest of the globe. We are very confident that the resources we have in our continent, if they were complemented by the technologies that we have in this part of the world and the financing that we can all put it together, we can forge a win-win outcome for Europe and Africa and for Africa and the globe. In fact, I can tell you today four aspects of Africa, what Africa is. Number one, Africa has the largest renewable energy assets in the world. Number two, Africa has two thirds of the world's arable land for agricultural production. Number three, Africa has the youngest population, 70% below the age of 30. And number four, Africa has the world's critical minerals that are necessary for energy transition. So if you are looking at the future and you're not looking in the direction of Africa, then I want to tell you, you are looking in the wrong place. Yes. The future is in Africa.